Ah. Landing a Cinelifter, like for example this one, can be a scary experience. Why? Because if you're not super, super, super careful, this is what might happen. The drone should survive the experience no problem, because they are tough little devices. However, the cameras, the cameras that you might have on top of your Cinelifter, usually is heavy, expensive and does not like to be shaken. No, they don't. If you are a very experienced pilot, you might already have a solution. Because you might disarm in the correct moment, you might really pull the throttle in the correct moment, maybe lower the eye gains, maybe fly without the air mode. However, when you are not a super experienced pilot, you might have a problem. But I and INAV have a solution. All you have to do is to make a special rate profile designed for landing. Not for flying, not for stability, but especially for landing. And then, when you are coming to a landing, activate it with your radio. Because yes, with INAV you can switch rate profiles during flight. And this is a killer feature. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, let's get busy. Step one would be to copy your current profile and your current tune to two other profiles and then we will modify one of them to be used as the landing profile. To do it, open the INAV configurator, go to the CLI and type diff. Over there, somewhere in the output, you will see the profile one. Copy everything that's marked under the profile two into your clipboard. I will just use the copy and now we will activate profile 2 and copy exactly the same values to the profile 2 and to profile 3. To do it, first type profile 2, this command activates the profile 2 and just paste whatever you had under the profile 1, then type profile 3 and one more time copy paste whatever you had stored under the profile 1. Now. Type save, and thanks to this simple trick, all the three rate profiles now hold exactly the same tune and exactly the same value. Wanna proof? Go to the PID tuning, and while being in the PID tuning, just switch between profile 1, profile 2, and profile 3, and you will see they hold exactly the same data. Next step is to decide which switch on your radio you want to use to activate different rate profiles, including the rendering profile. I decided to use switch G because it's in a kind of convenient position, it's easy, easily accessible without having to break the grip and, well, acts just fine. I decided that in my radio and in my cine lifter the low position on the SG will mean normal flight, the middle position will be the landing profile and the third one with the high position of the switch will be well special case that we will not cover right now. Go to the OpenTX HTX configuration and just attach the switch G into one of the free radio channels. In my case it's channel 10 because every time I switch the SG channel 10 is modified. Now, let's teach INAV to change rate profiles based on the position on the switch on your radio. To do it, go to the programming tab and let's make six different logic conditions that will activate whatever is necessary. The first logic condition will activate if the radio channel is in the low position and we're gonna set it to RC channel 10. Remember, this is the channel we assigned as our switch. The second condition will activate when the channel channel 10 is in the middle position and one more time it will be channel 10 and the third will activate on the high position of the switch and one more time with the RC channel 10. Now every time I will flip the switch the blue dot next to the currently active logic condition will change. The next three logic conditions will activate the rate profile when the switch is in the correct position. Number one will be the set profile and profile one active when logic condition zero is active. The second one will be set profile value two when logic condition one is active. This is the middle position on the switch. This will be the rate profile that actually handles the landing mode. And the final will be one more time 
set profile value three hour special case we will not set it up Today, I will only show you how to assign the correct logic condition, active when logic condition 2. Save. And now, when I will flip the switch, you will see that the status under the logic conditions 5, 4 and 3 will go on, on for the brief moment. Also, in the top bar of the iNav configurator, you will see that current profile changes whenever I flip the switch. And now the most important part, how to modify the profile you will be using for landing so the bouncing and jumping during the touchdown is as small as possible. First, let's activate the profile 2 and go into the modes. In the modes tab, let's find the air mode and assign the conditions to activate the air modes only on the low or high position of the switch G, because the middle one will be the landing without the air mode. So channel 10, because switch G is channel 10 in our case, in the low position, then let's add the range one more time on the channel 10 with the high position. And now, as you can see, when the switch G is in the middle position, the air mode is disabled, but whenever I move it to the normal flight or the special case, it activates immediately. The most important part is done because right now when you will activate the landing profile and do the touchdown while you at the same time pull the throttle low, the eye term will be disabled and to some extent it will minimize the bounce back. But of course we can improve that. While still being in the profile 2, let's go to the PID tuning and do the following. Let's lower integral on both roll and pitch. How much? To be honest, to have a stable flight without too much of the bad things happening to your drone, you most probably can go as low as 45 on both roll and pitch. It will be flyable, it will not be good enough for a nice cinematic, but for the landing experience should be absolutely fine. Also, let's lower roll and pitch. By how much? Not as much as the eye gains. Here it really depends on your craft, on your drone. In my case, I still have relatively stable flight when both roll and pitch proportional is around 35 less uh, then it will feel kind of loose when landing but rule of a thumb is that you should try to pull it as low as possible so it's controllable enough to do the landing but not overly sensitive and also because this is just a landing mode we can lower the d gains because you do not really need much of the d gain to do the landing now whenever preparing for the landing with your cine lifter just activate the landing profile with a switch slowly lose altitude and when just slightly above the ground just pull the throttle down and the motors should nicely go into the idle without the whole quad octa drone with maybe even super expensive camera jumping left and right Of course, before testing anything with the camera, try with just a dummy weight to see what's the behavior of your machine in the, with the real life payload. Isn't this just a much nicer landing experience? If you would like to know more about some interesting tricks you can do with iNav, here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!